Hey, what's up everybody, it's Justice. Today I wanted to show you the multiply by five and the divide by five math hack. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know how to multiply and divide numbers by five inside your head. And also I'll show you why this method works, so stay tuned for that. So let's start out with something pretty easy. So let's just do 14 multiplied by five, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna take this first number and you wanna divide it by two. So 14 divided by two, that's just equal to seven. And then you wanna tag on a zero and that's your answer. So let's do one more and then I'll show you why it works. And let's do another one. Let's do 86 multiplied by five. So the first thing you wanna do is grab the first number and divide it by two. So 86 divided by two, well, that's just equal to 43. And then you wanna tag on a zero and that's your answer. And the reason why this works is because if you multiply a number by five, that's the same thing as multiplying a number by 10 divided by two. And what we're essentially doing is we're dividing this number by two and then we're multiplying it by 10 by adding this zero. So that's why this method works. So let's move on to another example. So now let's say we have 47 multiplied by five, okay? And this one's a little bit more tricky because 47 is not super easy to just divide by two, right? Not as easy as the last ones at least. So what you wanna do is basically just act like this number is 46 and 46 divided by two, well, that's just pretty easy. That's equal to 23. And then what you wanna do is just tag on the extra five here. So this would be your answer. And you want to tag on a five because 46 times five is equal to 230. So that means that 47 times five is just equal to 235 because we have an extra five. So now let's move on to another example. So let's say we have 83 multiplied by five. So let's do our trick. So 83, well, that's not as easy to do in our head. So let's say that's just 82. 82 divided by two, well, that's just equal to 41. So we have 41 and we add that extra five that we were talking about, so it's 415. All right, so now let's see if you can do this one by yourself and then we'll go through it after. So let's try to do 108 multiplied by five. So pause the video now. All right, so if you're all done, what you wanna do is just divide this number by two. So 108 divided by two, well, that's just equal to 54. And then you wanna add on that extra zero and 540 is your answer. All right, so that's the multiply by five trick. So now let's move on to the divide by five trick, which is more fun in my opinion. But before we start, when you're dividing a number by five, that's the same thing as multiplying a number by one over five, which is also the same thing as multiplying the number by 0 0.2, which is the same thing as taking 20% of a number. So this is why this trick is so applicable because dividing by five, you're doing all of these things. So let's get started with our first example. All right, so let's say we wanted to do 41 divided by five, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is grab the first number and multiply it by two. And the easiest way to do that is just to double each digit. So now we have 82, and then we take the decimal point, move it over one, and our answer is 8.2. So let's move on to the second example, and then I'll show you why this works. So let's say you wanted to do 113 divided by five, okay? What we wanna do is take the first number, multiply it by two. We could just double each digit again, so that's just two, two, six, grab the decimal and move it over one point. So our answer is 22.6. The reason why this works is because if you wanna take a number and divide it by five, it's the same thing as taking the number and multiplying it by one over five, which is also the same thing as taking a number and multiplying it by two over 10. What we're doing is we're multiplying this number up here by two, and then we're dividing it by 10, and that's why we shift the decimal over. So remember this answer was just 226, and then we grab the decimal, move it over one, and this was our answer. So let's move on to a tricky example. Let's say we have 56 divided by five, okay? And what you wanna do is multiply this number by two, but it's a little bit harder to do in our head because if you multiply six by two, you get 12, right? So what I like to do is just break apart 56 as 50 plus six. Then you wanna double each of these numbers. So double 50, that's equal to 100. If you double six, that's equal to 12. So our new number is just 112. And then you grab the decimal, move it over one. So our answer is 11.2. So that wasn't too bad. Let's move on to the next example. All right, so now let's say we have 258 divided by five, okay? And what you wanna do is grab the first number, multiply it by two, but this one's a little hard to multiply in your head, so what you wanna do is break 258 apart, like 250 plus eight. Then you wanna double 250, that's just equal to 500. If you double eight, that's just equal to 16. So our number is just 516. Grab the decimal, move it over one, so the answer is 51.6. So try doing this next one by yourself. So we have 3,421 divided by five. So pause the video now and see if you can do it. So hopefully you got that one right. So you wanna grab the first number and multiply it by two, and we can just double each of the digits. So we have six, eight, four, and two. Then you wanna grab the decimal, move it over one point. 
So our answer is 684.2. So I hope this video helped you out. This is definitely one of my favorite math tricks. And if you have any suggestions for videos you wanna see in the future, just comment them below and I'm happy to do them. All right, see you guys in the next one.